What if I told you that one of the most powerful natural soil boosters is already sitting in your pantry? That's right, rice. The same simple grain you use for dinner can turn tired, compacted soil into a living, breathing ecosystem bursting with microbial life. When I discovered the power of pulverized rice, my garden went from struggling to thriving in just weeks. The difference was so dramatic, I couldn't keep it to myself. Today, on Timeless Crops Haven, we're diving deep into how this humble kitchen staple became my secret weapon for rapid plant growth and long-term soil health. Rice isn't just food for us. It's food for soil life. Each tiny grain is loaded with starches, proteins and trace minerals that beneficial microbes absolutely love. When these microbes feed, they don't just break down the rice. They create an entire underground ecosystem that feeds your plants. But here's where it gets interesting. The way you prepare the rice determines how it works. Whole rice grains feed your soil slowly, over months, acting like a time-release capsule. Pulverized rice, on the other hand, unlocks its nutrients instantly, feeding soil bacteria and fungi at lightning speed. Once I learned that, I had to test both side by side. The results weren't even close. Pulverizing rice, grinding it into a fine powder using a blender or coffee grinder, completely changes how it behaves in soil. By increasing its surface area thousands of times, it gives microbes easy, instant access to all that starch and protein locked inside. Within a week of applying it, I notice greener leaves, stronger stems, and a visible increase in new growth. What's really happening beneath the surface is pure biology magic. Soil bacteria like Lactobacillus feast on rice starch and release lactic acid as they digest it. That acid naturally unlocks phosphorus and other minerals trapped in the soil, making them available to plants. These same bacteria also help suppress harmful pathogens that cause root rot and nutrient lockout. Essentially, when you add pulverized rice, you're not just feeding your plants. You're feeding an entire microscopic army that protects and nourishes them. Here's the exact method that produced the best results in my garden. You only need plain, uncooked white rice. No fancy varieties required. Pour one cup of dry rice into a high-speed blender or coffee grinder and blend for about 60 seconds until it becomes a fine, flour-like powder. For seedlings or transplants, I use one tablespoon of this rice powder per planting hole. Mix it slightly below where the roots will sit so they grow directly into it. After planting, water with about one pint of water per plant, which is roughly two cups, to activate microbial activity. For larger, established plants that need a boost, sprinkle about two tablespoons of the powder evenly around the drip line, gently scratch it into the top inch of soil, and water thoroughly. About half a gallon per plant works perfectly. Within seven to ten days, you'll start noticing visible signs of improvement. Leaves look healthier, stems firm up, and fruiting plants like tomatoes and peppers begin to set stronger blossoms. If you're working on a tired compost pile, sprinkle a thin layer of rice powder between each layer of material and lightly mist it with water, about one cup per square foot of compost surface. The resulting microbial bloom will raise internal compost temperatures and break down even tough organic matter faster than usual. So why does it work so fast? Pulverized rice gives beneficial microbes a feast of easily digestible starch. When these microbes multiply, they release enzymes and acids that make locked-up nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium instantly available. 
The fine rice particles also create tiny pockets in the soil that hold moisture longer and encourage root-friendly bacteria to thrive. In less than two weeks, this microbial surge transforms even dull, compact soil into a living, breathing environment. You'll notice more earthworms, a looser soil texture, and that deep, earthy smell that tells you your soil is alive again. It's the kind of transformation chemical fertilizers can't match because it's biological, not artificial. After seeing the power of pulverized rice, I didn't completely abandon whole grains. They just have a different purpose now. Whole rice breaks down slowly, feeding the soil over several months. It's perfect for long-term soil building when preparing new garden beds or maintaining raised beds between seasons. When I'm refreshing a bed, I mix one cup of whole rice grains into every four square feet of soil and work it into the top six inches along with compost. Then I water deeply, about one gallon per square foot, to kick-start the microbial colonization process. The grains act as food and shelter for beneficial fungi particularly mycorrhizal species, which spread through the soil-forming networks that transport water and nutrients to roots. Over time, these fungi create stable soil aggregates, improving structure and preventing compaction. The grains themselves slowly decompose, leaving behind small air pockets that improve drainage and aeration especially helpful for container plants that often struggle with compacted soil. Now, after experimenting across multiple growing seasons, I've found that the most effective approach isn't choosing between pulverized and whole rice. It's using both strategically. Pulverized rice is my go-to emergency rescue when plants look tired or stressed. It's fast, it's powerful, and it delivers visible results quickly. Whole rice is my foundation builder, the long-term investment that sustains soil life and prevents biological burnout over time. By combining the two, you can create a rhythm that keeps your soil thriving year-round. Use the powder form for quick activation during transplanting or mid-season feeding. Then, when you're preparing beds for the next season, mix in whole rice to keep the microbial cycle alive and balanced through winter. One important note, always manage moisture carefully. Rice is organic, and if left too wet or exposed on the surface, it can ferment or attract rodents. The key is moderation. Start small, incorporate it well, and always cover it lightly with soil or compost. The first time I tried this, I treated half my tomato bed with pulverized rice and left the other half untreated. Within ten days, the difference was undeniable. The treated plants had thicker stems, darker leaves, and noticeably more blossoms. After three weeks, they outproduced the untreated plants by nearly double. It wasn't a miracle. It was microbiology in action. Pulverized rice jump-started the beneficial bacteria that make nutrients flow freely, creating a cascade of soil health improvements. And the best part? It cost less than a dollar to treat the entire bed. It's easy to overlook something as ordinary as rice. But when you understand how it fuels soil biology, it stops being just a kitchen staple and becomes a gardener's gold mine. Pulverized rice gives you instant visible growth. Whole rice gives you sustained, long-term fertility. Together, they build a living soil system that keeps your plants healthy and productive season after season. So, next time you step into your pantry, don't just think about what to cook. Think about what your soil might be craving, too. If you found this guide helpful, hit that subscribe button on Timeless Crops Haven. Share it with a fellow gardener, and let's keep growing smarter, naturally and timelessly.
Your best harvest could be just one handful of rice away.